In this video, I'll be covering the Network Access Enforcement feature. Have you ever wanted to restrict which clients can pass traffic over your mobile VPN connections? Or perhaps you've wanted to restrict which clients can connect to the SSIDs on your access points. If either of these situations applies in your network, the Network Access Enforcement is exactly what you're looking for. For the first situation, when you have mobile VPN clients that connect to the Firebox, you can use Network Access Enforcement to disconnect mobile VPN sessions when clients do not have the WatchGuard endpoint software installed. And for the access point example, the same thing holds true. If a client doesn't have the endpoint software installed, then it will be unable to pass traffic on the network. This is a great way to restrict unauthorized clients from using your mobile VPN or your access points on the network. This feature works with any of the endpoint software, including the EDR Core product. The first step to configuring network access enforcement is to log into WatchGuard Cloud. I'm on my dashboard here, and then I will need to go to Administration, and then My Account. Down here at the bottom, you can see the Network Access Enforcement, which contains my account UUID and authentication key. I must copy both of these values so that I can paste them into appropriate fields for the features that I want to use. You can use this handy icon right here to copy the value. Once I've copied both of these, I'll go ahead and move over to the next step. The second step to configure network access enforcement is to configure the endpoint settings. To do that, I will go to Configure, and then select Endpoints. Next, on the left side here, I will need to select Network Services. And then over in the upper right, you can see the Network Access Enforcement tab. And here I will need to input the UUID and authentication key. And once that's done, click Save. And that's it for the endpoint part of the setup. If you will be configuring the Network Access Enforcement feature with a Firebox, you need to go to Configure, Devices, and then choose the Firebox that you want to enable the feature on. And then go to Device Configuration, and then select Mobile VPN. The Network Access Enforcement feature will work with either VPN type that is available here. I'm going to select Ike v2 since that's our recommended VPN option. I already have Ike v2 configured. If you do not, then you will need to configure this feature first. I will scroll down to the group section here, and you will notice the column that says Network Access Enforcement. You can see that the feature is currently listed as disabled for both of my groups. If I would like to enable this, I simply need to check the box next to the group that I want to use the feature on. Then go up to Actions and select Enabled Network Access Enforcement. You can see over here on the right that it is now listed as Enabled. Next, I need to scroll to the bottom and click Save. And then I need to schedule the deployment. Once I've given it a description, I can go ahead and deploy it. And now the Network Access Enforcement feature should be enabled for the group that I configured in Ike v2. That means all users within that group must have the endpoint software installed. You may notice that the users are able to connect to the VPN, but they will be disconnected shortly thereafter if the endpoint software is not detected. If you will be configuring the Network Access Enforcement feature on an access point, you can go to Configure, Devices. Alternatively, if you will be configuring this feature on multiple access points, then you can use the Access Point Sites configuration. For now, I will just do a single access point, but the steps should be the same and then I will select the access point that I want to configure, and then go to Device Configuration, select SSIDs, and then select the SSID I want to enable this feature on, and then I will go to the Advanced tab, and down at the bottom you can see the Network Access Enforcement feature. So I'll go ahead and enable it. At this point, I could just click Save and be done. But if I would like to, I can add some walled garden domains or IP addresses that will allow users to access those resources without having the endpoint client installed. For now, I will not put anything into the walled gardens list and I will click save. And for this to take effect, I need to deploy it. So I will click schedule deployment at the bottom and then fill out the description and then click deploy. 
At this point, the feature is enabled on my example SSID. The behavior you're going to see is that the client will connect to the SSID, but it will not be able to pass traffic until the endpoint software check is completed. And that wraps up the access point deployment piece for the network access enforcement feature. To wrap things up, you have to make sure that all of the requirements are met for the network access enforcement feature, and that includes the different versions, such as 12.9 for the Firebox, 2.1 or higher for the AP, and of course the endpoint needs to be updated and have current licensing. And for now you need to enter the UUID and authentication key in the network access enforcement portion of the endpoint configuration, as well as the network access enforcement configuration on a locally managed Firebox. And lastly, you need to verify that the endpoint software is correctly installed on any client devices that you're connecting to the network. If the client is not installed, then the check on the Firebox or the access point will fail, and the client may not be able to pass traffic on the network. For more information about network access enforcement, please check out WatchGuard Technical Search.